Kiviak, Greenland. Kiviak is a dish from Greenland consisting of hundreds of dead op birds stuffed into the body of a dead seal. The seal is then sealed up to be completely airtight, covered in oil to repel flies and maggots, and then fermented for three months. The pungent, toxic-smelling bird meat is said to taste a bit like very mature cheeses or licorice. The dish is often eaten over the winter months when it is harder to catch food, and especially at special occasions such as Christmas or birthdays. Penis fish, South Korea. In South Korea, the penis fish is a popular delicacy, also known as gable. Penis fish typically eaten raw, sliced and served with a savory sesame oil sauce. It is purportedly a little bit bland with a slight sweet taste, which makes the sauce crucial. Kasumarzu, Italy. Kasumarzu is quite simply pecorino cheese that has been completely decomposed and occupied by maggots. It is dangerous to eat and could be fatal, which is why it is banned in most countries. It originates from Italy where it was eaten by those in desperate poverty who had little else to eat. It is now a sought-after delicacy on the black market for those who wish to try the infamous illegal cheese. Hakarl, Iceland Hakarl is an Icelandic delicacy of fermented shark meat that is famed for its incredibly pungent odor. It takes nine weeks for the fermentation process to reduce the natural toxins in shark meat, making it ready to eat with no cooking required at all. Snake Soup, China Snake soup is a 2,000-year-old delicacy eaten mostly throughout China but also some other parts of Asia. Different snakes can be used and often a customer will pick up the snakes that they want to use. However, the most popular snakes eaten are python and water snake. It is cooked over a period of six hours and is considered to be healthy and full of medicinal benefits. Sheep's Head Smalahov, Norway. Smalahov is a very traditional recipe that is usually eaten on the Sunday before Christmas. After preparing and boiling the sheep's head, it is often then served with rutabaga and potatoes. The tastiest part of the sheep's head is apparently the cheek. One serving is usually half a sheep's head per person. Surströmming, Sweden Surströmming is well known as the smelliest food in the world, and for a very good reason. This disgustingly stinky fermented fish is banned on planes due to the powerful odor it emits. Swedes usually eat surströmming with thin flatbreads and oat breads, and it reportedly has a very sour, sharp, peppery taste with a salty baseline of flavor. Mostly though people say it tastes awful. Hormiga culona, edible fat bottom dance, Colombia. Fat Bottom Dance, known as Hormiga Culona, are a popular delicacy in Colombia where they are either roasted or fried, and eaten like peanuts. There are lots of health benefits to Hormiga Culona, which are a great source of protein and even considered to be an aphrodisiac. Most report that they have a smoky flavor and are quite crunchy. Bird's Nest Soup, China Bird's nest soup is a popular delicacy in various parts of China. The nest of a swiftlet is used to cook a brothy soup with endless purported health benefits. Bird's nest soup is known for being a pretty expensive delicacy due to the cost of purchasing the nest itself. This is likely due to the demand and lack of supply since obtaining the nest is quite dangerous and there are many ethical considerations with oversupplying them. Tamilop Woodworm, Philippines The Tamilop Woodworm is a popular Filipino delicacy found in decaying, rotten logs and swamps like mangroves. The wood is then cracked open in order to extract the slimy creatures from inside. 
Once you've cracked open the log, you can find the Tamilop clams wiggling through the wood, making holes as they go along. Similar to oysters, it has a fishy, slimy texture complemented by a very off-putting stench. Shiakura, Japan Shiakura is a Japanese delicacy of squid intestines fermented in their own viscera, guts. It's stinky, slimy, and a very acquired taste that Westerners will struggle to stomach. Goat's Intestines, Buchada de Bode, Brazil Buchada de Bode is essentially the intestines of a kid goat that is cooked and served in the stomach. But cooking intestines in the stomach isn't unique to Brazil. Haggis in Scotland is very similar to this Buchada de Bode recipe as it utilizes the stomach as a method to hold and cook ingredients. Kui Guinea Pig, Peru Kui is hugely popular in Peru and is very easy to find. It is essentially guinea pig which can be cooked in a number of ways such as spit roasting or frying. Tourists often want to try kiwi as it has gained a reputation as a must-try dish when visiting the country. This means that stalls and restaurants will serve the dish to tourists all year round, even though it is mostly eaten by Peruvians on special occasions. It is also eaten in other parts of South America such as Colombia and Bolivia, basically anywhere where guinea pigs are considered to be a pest rather than a pet. The cooked guinea pig is then commonly served with potatoes and vegetables. Century Egg, China Century Egg is a black preserved egg of a duck, chicken, or quail. Of course, Century Egg got its name from the art of preserving the egg for hundreds of years before eating, but more commonly they are just a few months old. The egg turns black with a dark green yolk after being processed in clay, ash, and quicklime. Fruit Bat Soup, Palau Fruit Bat Soup is a dish consumed in the Pacific island of Palau where it is was once a staple of the local diet. Fruit bats get their name from the fact that they feed on fruit, as opposed to most bats who feed on insects. There are mixed reviews about the taste of fruit bat soup with some very passionate advocates whereas others who are slightly underwhelmed by the flavor. Frog's Legs, France Frog legs are a famous French dish consisting of the legs of frogs, cooked in a wide variety of ways. Frog legs can either be grilled, stewed in a soup, stir-fried, baked, boiled, sautéed or battered and fried. Frog meat is believed to share a lot of similarities with chicken and fish. Crocodile Skewers, Australia Everyone knows Australia is famous for its crocodiles, but not many people know that croc meat can make a delicious skewer. In the USA, they make a similar recipe with alligator meat, particularly in regions such as Florida or Louisiana where alligators are a common pest. Usually the meat of a reptile is considered to be quite rubbery, but those who cook it often will have recipes to marinate the meat that softens it up. After grilling on the barbecue, the skewers are often served as a kebab with pita bread and salad. Chicken feet, multiple countries. Chicken feet are a delicacy in many countries throughout the world, including Mexico, China, Indonesia, Eastern Europe, Jamaica, and many more. In China, chicken feet are fried, steamed, and then simmered in a spicy soy-based sauce. They are often eaten as a simple bar snack, but can also be served as a main dish. Wasp Crackers, Japan Wasp crackers, also called jibachi sundae, are a Japanese snack similar to sundae rice crackers, but filled with digger wasps. Old wasp hunters set traps near the neighboring countryside to capture the wasps. They are then added to the boiling water and, once boiled, they are dried and combined with the rice cracker mixture. Live Dancing Shrimp Gung Ten, Thailand 
Gung ten or dancing shrimp is a delicacy in northern Thailand where a bowl of live shrimp are doused in sauce and served to the customer to eat raw. The shrimp are often calm until they are covered in the sauce which causes them to jump around trying to escape, giving the illusion that they are dancing. Muktuk, Greenland and Canada Muktuk is an Inuit delicacy consisting of the skin and blubber of bowhead, narwhal or beluga whales, cut into chunks. It is often served raw but can also be pickled and deep fried before serving with soy sauce. Fesik, Egypt Fesik is a potentially deadly, very smelly Egyptian fish delicacy. It is most well known for being deadly if it is not prepared correctly, but its pungent smell is outrageous. The fish is preserved in salt for two weeks or more, which is what causes its signature smell. It is then deep fried and served with bread and salad. Most actually consider fesic to be quite tasty if you can overcome the smell. Coconut Worms, Vietnam Coconut worm is a type of snout beetle at its larvae stage. Also known as Duong Dua in Vietnamese, a coconut worm is light yellow in color, generally sweet in taste, and about 3 to 5 centimeters long in size. Usually eaten live. Fried Tarantulas, Cambodia An eight-legged dish with a dark past, starving Cambodians first began eating spiders under the Khmer Rouge regime. Today, the hairy arachnids are still considered a popular snack throughout the country. Apparently, they taste a bit like crab, so perhaps this is a new bugs-ass food trend you can get on board with. Tuna Eyeballs, Japan when it comes to tuna in Japan, every single morsel is devoured right up to their eyeballs. There are many different tuna eyeball recipes, but the easiest way to cook them is to boil or steam them, season with garlic or soy. You might find it surprising that instead of tasting like tuna, tuna eyeballs actually taste a bit like squid. Ballot, Philippines. It's a fertilized egg, usually duck, that's about 2-3 weeks into development, boiled alive and then eaten directly from the shell, seasoned with salt, chili, and vinegar. Traditionally, you're meant to tape a hole in the top, suck the savory liquid out, and then crunch down the rest of the developed egg, feathers, bones, and all. Witchetty Grub, Australia Part of the Australian bushmeat family, this was another staple of indigenous Australians in the desert. These can either be eaten raw, when it tastes like almonds, or lightly cooked, where its skin crisps like roast chicken and its insides take on the look and consistency of scrambled egg. Sago Delight, Southeast Asia Edible sago grubs are said to be creamy tasting when raw or meaty and like bacon when cooked. Generally seasoned and flavored in the same way as the other Southeast Asian creepy crawly favorite, Jean lead and served alongside. Stink Bugs, Africa Used to flavor stews or eaten on their own, stink bugs are said to have a crunch to them and taste a little like apple. Prepared by boiling, the bugs release defensive pheromones in a last-ditch attempt to survive, and while it hurts the eyes, it's no more successful than the onion's weak survival attempt. Mopane worms, Southern Africa These caterpillars have been eaten as a traditional food source in South Africa for centuries, and are still a popular choice today. While mopane worms may not sound appetizing at first, they are actually quite tasty, many compare their flavor to that of coconut. They are also endlessly versatile and can be eaten raw, fried, or roasted. Best of all, mopane worms are an inexpensive and easy way to get high-quality protein. Southern Fried Rattlesnake, United States A favorite in the southwestern United States, it's said to taste a little like frog's legs. 
Experts advise boiling the meat off the bones before dipping in egg and covering in seasoned salt mix, flour, and breadcrumbs. Deep fat fry and munch away. Starfish, China. Serve dry and covered in hard and spiny armor. This isn't a snack you want to bite into. You want to break of a leg and peel open the skin to get at the green colored meat inside. Frog smoothie. Frogs are eaten by people in many parts of the world including Africa, Asia, and South America. They can be fried, stewed, boiled, or baked. And although some say their meat is bland tasting, it's also rich in protein and low in fat. Frog smoothies are becoming increasingly popular as a delicious and healthy alternative to other breakfast options. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.